rivers, they bring life. Without rivers, we don't have any life. They are the life's blood of the wildlife in this area. I mean, there are many animals that do live away from the rivers in the forests, but the connectivity of this entire landscape is due to the river system. The freedom of movement by wildlife and the rivers that cut across countries, they teach us that despite having individual countries, we are just one big community. Without coexistence, you basically be threatening the natural rhythm and harmony that you require for different species, for people, for biodiversity. Kaza. The world's largest terrestrial conservation area. Between thundering waterfalls running through wide stretches of savanna, marsh, and rustling forest woodlands lies the Kavango and Zambezi rivers. Kaza is abundant in wildlife, scenic splendor, and the rich cultural heritage. This 520,000 square kilometer mosaic of majestic wilderness is a safari connoisseur's dream destination with the goal of achieving a more sustainable coexistence between people and wildlife, the great nations of Angola, Botswana, Namibia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe came together in 2011 to establish the Kavango Zambezi TFCA. Our wildlife dispersal areas are very important in facilitating coordinated development and ensuring that coexistence is enhanced. I came to realize how intricately connected the culture of the people can be linked to a river system. People depend on the fisheries, people depend on the flooding pattern for their transportation, for their farming. It's also important for the wildlife habitat. Achieving coexistence in um, these complex landscapes we call TFCAs. You need coordination, collaboration, and understanding. By establishing conservation corridors between protected areas, Kaza is home to the largest contiguous transboundary elephant population in the world and provides critical habitat for other endangered lion and wild dog populations, as well as 600 species of birds. To assist in managing human-wildlife conflict and link protected areas within the TFCA, it is essential for all the countries involved to work together in harmony with nature and each other. Collaboration is so important in the sense that uh, animals have got no boundaries, unlike countries, so they need to have their free movement. They do migrate from time to time. Human-wildlife conflict is whereby people, the communities and the wildlife come into confrontations in situations whereby animals would encroach into communities in search of water, for example. It also occurs when we as people now encroach into the wildlife areas and the confrontations become inevitable. In the Angolan component of Kaza, wildlife is returning from neighboring countries after a civil war which ended in 2002, symbolizing peace and belonging among the community, of which many had never seen in their lifetime. O impacto da guerra foi foi muito negativo, porque com o surgimento da guerra Colocavam-se minas anti-pessoais e anti-tanques, por exemplo. Nós temos uma companhia de desminagem que tem feito a desminagem a um nível destas comunidades. E essa desminagem tem ajudado bastante a questão, por exemplo, da agricultura, da conservação, da abertura dos corredores dos animais. Para mim, o CASA é não, não mais é um projeto que traz fronteiriço que ajuda mesmo, veio para ajudar, para criar, para trazer essa harmonia, não só entre as comunidades, mas também os países. No tempo da guerra, nós não, não foi difícil encontrar um animal, porque eles também tinham fugido, mas atualmente já, hoje, no Parque do Lenga Luiana, registramos manadas e manadas de búfalo, elefante e outras espécies em distinção. Fizemos a patrulha conjunta com os fiscais namibianos, 
e fiscais zambianos. É, às vezes, quando os caçadores saltam para a Namíbia, nós ligamos para os fiscais daquele lado, a dizer que entraram no ponto X, demos também às vezes as coordenadas através do GPS, tiramos as coordenadas, mandamos no sítio onde eles entraram, então os outros lá continuam para fazer as patrulhas ou seguir o trilho dos caçadores. Então essa é a vantagem. Fiscalizar, preservar a nossa fauna é muito importante para as gerações vindouras que virão também para saber. Por isso que eu estou a gostar muito do meu trabalho. Eu não sei se você está fazendo isso. 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 Eu não sei se você Before conservation farming, we used to plow a big land, but our yield was very little. Now that through the Peace Parks Foundation, they have introduced us with uh, conservation farming, where we, we plow even a small piece of land, but our yields now is very big. Nindava mama kaza koko koko vuna kuti kandi ba kandi shau kuba ba lele zipa uzango kuti zive na mahitiro arukuru hite zoro kukavira ma Zambia zoro kukavira ma Angola zoro kukavira kui kunge omusi akira manje eshando likave na mara vantu vetu neti likani eti bila reti kave na mara vantu vetu zipa uzango nichande reti ro kuti. Kwa vutoko kuti ndi kavire mo ndi kofanse avantu ndi zipau ndi zibabare ndi hantu hanke. We build lion-proof kraals. They should actually be called cattle-proof kraals because they keep the cattle inside. The kraals are 100% effective. And the way we do the lion-proof kraals, it's actually a 50-50 investment. The kraal recipient will provide all the poles. They are encouraged to collect dead trees that have fallen over because those are actually hardier. And then our team works with the family and whoever else wants to be involved to build the kraal structure. Beyond protecting cows, which they do, I do believe the value is also because of the investment in individuals and recognition of their way of life. I love rivers because it's something that I grew up with in the first place. I was a full-time fisherman. My dad used to do fishing, then mom used to do the same selling. So it's something that I understand in detail. So I'm a living example. What we, we, we normally do when you go out with our boat, we monitor and record the catches. So what we normally do, after having checked through their, their crates, we say, just as you, as you can see it in the crates, it's because of the illegal catching fish. That's what it has led to the, this fishing, now being found in small numbers. The problem with using the mosquito nets it, it sweeps away everything. Whatever goes in that mosquito net will never come out. So it means it may be an insect, a snake, or even the tiny, the smallest fish. Lwa baiza se skies wa tu kuba luta kuli ba ba iko luti se nikuzi ba kuli di kaze kisabona kima benefits sabona kima benefits sabai kuba bona kima benefits a generation ya bona. Then makuswa ne yaku sibu kusabedeksa, but uba makuswa ne yaku ba bate lanzira yemo yakuli ni bona ba yezengi. I would explain conservation as um, doing everything that is necessary to ensure that we remain alive on planet Earth. It's my personal belief that conservation is everybody's business. Along with its abundant wildlife and rich cultures, Kaza is also a world-class tourism destination, linking key wildlife and cultural attractions for all who visit. I'm so proud to be an employer based in this Kaza region, it makes me so joyful to be able to give back to my country, to the Kaza region. If we make it easy for people to move freely, then we are guaranteed of more business. We are guaranteed of bettering our economy. I think the people, when they see the falls for the first time, they feel like they are in some very special place, and indeed, they are at a special place. 
to ensure that not only wildlife but also people and tourists can move freely across borders, the Kaza Univisa was launched between Zambia and Zimbabwe. The goal of the Univisa is to facilitate movement of tourists within the Kaza Visa countries and also to promote regional tourism growth. The Kaza Univisa brings a lot of benefits to the community because when these tourists come, they also spend. And whatever they spend, it will benefit the community. It will benefit the stakeholders in the tourism industry. If the ideas of transfrontier conservation are allowed to expand, we are going to see more revenue generation among countries in the transfrontier conservation. We are also going to see less of crime that involves wildlife, ranging from poaching, ranging from smuggling. Countries will be collaborating. They will be working together towards a common goal of conserving wildlife and nature. Transfrontier conservation, it means bringing together the five countries in protecting the wild animals, the wild natural areas that we have, bringing them together to look after them and also to benefit the communities that are living in those areas. One of the many lessons that we can learn from uh, the behavior of animals in these transboundary areas is the issue of their movement across borders. Their movement is dictated by the natural rhythm, you know, the flooding patterns, for example. So the issue of connectivity is essential. It's the wrong perception to say the river divides us. It is actually the river that brings the countries together because it is on the basis of the river that these countries converge. Wildlife corridor, it means the corridors that we have in our villages, in our township, in our remote areas that allow animals to move from one point to another without being disturbed. Kaza represents living proof that by being in tune with nature, we play our role in preserving rich and diverse ecosystems that will continue to live on for generations to come. Here in Kaza.